Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God so much for another opportunity to share his word. As we share his word, let's just pray. Our God and our Father, we want to thank you so much for the way you've spoken to us in the past. And even as we share your word, we ask that you speak to us. Your word, O Lord, is food indeed. Your word, O Lord, gives one wisdom for life. Your word, O Lord, gives us understanding and gives us direction. We ask in Jesus' name that the entrance of your word will bring life to us. Let there be anointing. Let your hand be upon us as we share your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I want to share uh, on the subject of living above common sense. Living above common sense. Go with me to Mark chapter 14. And verses 1 to 9. It's a very familiar passage. And I want to read it to you. It says, after two days, it was the Passover and the Feast of Unleavened Bread. And the chief priests and the scribes sought how they might take him by trickery and put him to death. But they said, not during the feast, lest there be an uproar of the people. Verse 3, and being in Bethany, at the house of Simon the leper, as he sat at the table, a woman came having an alabaster flask of very costly oil of spike nut. Then she broke the flask and poured it on his head. But there were some who were indignant among themselves. And said, Why was this fragrant oil wasted? For it might have been sold for more than 300 denarii and given to the poor. And they criticized her sharply. But Jesus said, Let her alone. Why do you trouble her? She has done a good thing. Work for me. For you have the poor with you always. And whenever you wish, you may do them good. But me, you na do not have always. She has done what she could. She has come beforehand to anoint my body for burial. As surely I say to you, wherever this gospel is preached, in the whole world, what this woman has done will also be told as a memorial to her. We've read this story many times. But this story has Critical aspects of it. Jesus was invited at the house of Simon the leper. 
in a in a city called Bethany. Mchibuga echitwa Bethania. Very close to Jerusalem. Echichiri kumpi na Jerusalem. And so while he was at table, awe yalinga atudde kumere. A woman came with an alabaster flask. Omuchana jani chupa. Now this passage does not say who. Orugero ni tukugamba ani. But in John chapter 11 verse 1 to 3. Nemyo kana 11 mu 1:3. It says it was that Mary. Chigamba anti yali Maria moyo. The sister of Lazarus. Oyo manyina wa Lazarus. And Martha. Ne Maria who did this thing. Abako le chintu chino. So it was Mary who came. Yali Maria mi yajja. And they had their home in Bethany also. Era baina amakaga bwe mu Bethany ya nago. So it was like Jesus used to visit them. Charlinga ati Yesu yaterango kubachalira. This time around he goes to Simon the leper invites him come over. Ekisira kino Simoni omukenge na amuita anti jangu. And while he is there, era bwe yalinga achali eyo. Something begins to move in Mary's heart. Ekintu ekimwe kitanko tambula mutima kwa Maryam. And she goes in there. Na agenda yo. Not just to serve. Sikuweleza. But she went. Ne agenda to do something unique. Okula ekintu ekyenja wolo. Actually, dala when you read a similar story as recorded by Luke. It will tell you. Luke chapter 7 verse 37. That Mary actually began to weep and you know using her tears to wash to clean Jesus's legs and feet with her hair. Nti Maria myatani ko kaba amazige na kwesa okulongose bikira bya Yesu nga kwesa envirize. After cleaning then she anointed his legs. Bya mala okulongose bikira byo na ryo kaifuka kama futa. And then it looks like after she finished there then she got up and you know emptied the whole alabaster flask on his head. Era chigambi bwantu bya mala awo na kwate chupa yo nana ajiwa ku mutwe kwa Yesu. But anyway what is here is this. Na yechiri wano chirinte. She came in. Yajja and just broke the flask naya sa echupa and emptied its contents on jesus's head ebyalyo byonna alayefuka ku mutwe kwa yesu that fragrant ointment kakati akalusaku that oil amaftago was very expensive gabei nyo says it was worth 300 denarii gali mu dinari satu And the scriptures tell us that a denarii was the wage of a common laborer for one day. So it's like I think in our time maybe, maybe the usual laborers to do are just helpers. Depending on the work they do. They are paid either 10,000 per day or 15,000 per day. So if you find that somebody is this is this is the wage for a laborer for you know the 300 dinar is like work for 300 days kakati olaba anti dinari zino ebikumi ebisatu eziwe bono mukozi olinzo kubanga akolide enakunga bisatu that was a lot of money zali nsimbi nyinji you could be possibly talking about 3 million plus tuinzo kuba tokira ku milioni nga satu nokusukawo that was the cost of that oil okwe gwali omuwendo gwa amafutago and she lowered it onto his head naga fuka gonna ku yesu and as expected as expected the disciples said no 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 there are some people who were there and said no 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 this thing does not make sense how do you pour such an expensive oil at one go and you just throw throw away you know money something worth 3 million shillings instead of pouring it on his head you should have sold it and we give money to the poor so the thing did not make sense 
But Jesus said, leave her alone. My brethren, I feel the Lord wants me to share with you on living beyond common sense. Common sense is, I don't know, um, in Luganda, whether you'll be saying the same thing, is about sound practical judgment. Concerning everyday matters. So, like when you see somebody wasting water, or wasting, you know, oil, wastage is the Anybody who wastes is not a man of common sense. Because when you have sweated for something, you should value it. So in this case, those who watched did not see value in pouring this expensive thing over the head of Jesus. This is a waste. Common sense. But there is something that I have called spiritual sense. Jesus said, leave her alone. Yes, you what she has done has sense. Because she's done it to prepare me for my burial. And what she has done will be spoken about her. So spiritual sense is about things which have a connection with our God and his purposes. It's about, for example, whether we practice justice, righteousness, holiness. It's about whether we are moving in obedience to God. Then whatever you do makes spiritual sense. But the thing about common sense is that it can change. And I can give you an example. In our time, you know, trousers, we put them on nicely. There was nothing like a balancing. Balancing did not make sense. It was, you, you lacked common sense. Balance, if you balance your trousers. But today, people balance. And if you put on trousers like I'm doing, you know, people may say, oh, this is old fashioned. So this thing about practical judgment about everyday life. Judgment which is commonly shared that this is okay, this is not okay. Can change. That's the trouble with common sense. The other thing about common sense is that it might block you from seeing beyond the natural. You may not be able to listen and hear what God is saying. If you are not able to go above common sense. That's why spiritual sense matters. So I want to say this. In all our actions, we are either operating at the level of human sense of which common sense is very, very, um, very, very, important aspect of it. 
And that human sense includes technical or specialized knowledge or sense the technical sense for example if I'm given water like this thank God that this one is clearly you know um, shown to be okay but if this seal was broken and somebody gave me water and this label is all taken away and it looks clean like this it is not technical sense to just believe that the water is good for drinking because those who have studied water science will tell you that even water which looks very clear may actually have poisonous things inside and when you drink you may actually drink poison. So you need to test the water first to be sure that it is safe before you drink. So, the realm of human understanding and knowledge makes us operate at this level of common sense and technical sense. And we can take decisions around there. That has limitations. It is when we begin to use these two and add on top of it spiritual sense that's when we will be able to enjoy the fullness of life. Let me go up to this story. The people who were at this supper of meal clearly said this thing does not make sense. We, we, why couldn't we just get money out of this oil? Would we'll be okay. But Jesus saw so beyond what they saw. He saw the heart of this lady. Actually, the conversation Jesus had with Simon the leper as recorded in Luke chapter 7 it's very interesting Simon said surely if the Lord knew who this woman is he would be very careful to allow her to keep you know uh, cleaning his is his feet with her hair. He would know she's a sinner. But Jesus spoke to him. He gave him a parable of two men, two people. One who owed much and the other one who owed little. And he told him, when these two are let go the hook, who will love more? And Simon said, I suppose the one who was, you know, forgiven much. And the Lord said, you know what? This woman whom you are calling a sinner, she loves much because she has been forgiven much. And he turned to Mary and said, Go. Your sins are forgiven. You. What we do if he has spiritual sense may have issues with people. But let me discuss 
human ability. And I want to read to you a scripture. In Hosea chapter 5. And verse 11. Hosea 5, 11. Praise the Lord. That scripture goes like this. Um, Hosea 5.11 Hosea 5.11 It says that Ephraim is oppressed and broken in judgment because he willingly walked by human precept. Can you imagine God saying, this group of people, they are oppressed and broken because they willingly walk by human precepts. It means because of the limitations of human ability. If we choose to only walk by our common sense and so on and so forth, we may find ourselves coming to a point where we are defeated. We come into oppression. We get ourselves into limitations. Because we do not take advantage of the spiritual realm that God wanted us to operate in. So Ephraim was oppressed and, 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 and broken because he just, the Bible says, he willingly walked by human precept. And I want to say this. God speaks. God guides. The question is, how much are we walking in his precepts? How much are we moving in obedience to what he's telling us? Because what he speaks to us may not make sense. Sometimes to the human mind, to the human ability. Let me give you an example. In Mark chapter 10, and verse 17 to 22, we read of the story of this, um, this, this gentleman who came running after Jesus. And he said, good teacher, what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? And Jesus said to you, him, why do you call me good? No one is good but one, that is God. You know the commandments. Do not commit adultery. Um, do not murder. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Do not defraud. Honor your father and your mother. And this gentleman answered and said, Teacher, all these things I have kept from my youth. Then the scripture says, Jesus looked at him and loved him and said, one thing you lack. Go your way. Genda. Sell whatever you have. And give to the poor. And you'll have treasure in heaven. And come. Take up the cross. And follow me. This is a situation where in Umbera, verse 22 says that when he, when he heard that he was sad and walked away very sorrowful 
because he had great possessions kubanga yali ne bintu binji jesus told him i you know he just his body language told him this is a great guy yesu yamugye enkola ye yamula yamula bantu ono amsajja mulonje but he could see he had a need nayati yalabanga ine chitaako a spiritual need that needed to be dealt with e cheta ge chomo e chai chino kolebwako this is one thing you lack namugamba webu se muchintu chimu go and sell everything you have geno tunde byo nabyo oli nabyo give to the poor o wabavu and you will have treasure in heaven e rocha kuba no bugagga muguru now when i get to heaven i want to see what kind of treasures are there bwingina mugunya galanda be bugagga chibuno obuli eyo because here the lord said you sell kubanga wano mukama agamba tunda and then you will have your treasure up there kato jakuba no bugagga muguru people have many interpretations of this ah twaine zifunula nnyingi ku chino But for me what I understand is very simply changu is that the lord was saying just get rid of your treasures which you see now here timukama yali amugamba job ne byobugagga bye byola bakukati and you'll have real treasure up there in heaven kato jakuba no bugagga dala eri mugulo the man could not see the spiritual sense of what jesus was telling oh musajju na ita inza kulaba magezi ga moyo yesu gali amugamba by common sense ya tambo lila magezi amazali common sense told him amagezi amazali ga mugamba the moment you sell everything bono tunda byonna you are a poor man ori musajja mwavu and yet jesus told him atenga yesu amugamba sell and come and follow me tunda ongoberere So when he saw that he was going to lose wealth we alabanga agenda kusuba worldly wealth obugaggo okumusi he said no way na gamba ne dasebo and let me tell you my brethren kakubulira wo luganda these are some of the issues we are grappling with bino bye bintu emu yetu emurugunyako because of issues of wealth kubye kurensonga eyo bugagga because of issues of subsistence because of issues of survival we may make money become a big issue and bigger than our work with god era no kusukrument amula ya fene mukama there someone who was telling me what one muntu yali ngamba that you know what to win an election okuwangula kalulu you may have to do this and this o ino kubanga okoze chino na chino and you clearly see erango olabiradala that some of the things that are being spoken of tebi twebyoke bwako may make common sense beans okola amagezi kana amazala because of changed values kuresonga is is juicy bwa but it does not make spiritual sense nete bikola magezi ka moyo because as i said spiritual sense means there's holiness there's godliness there is righteousness there is justice you don't break the law ngaba na gambe enti amagiza akomo emuli mu butukirivu mulimu okubwenkanya mulimu okubanga otamale katonda twali kumenya teka so you be you'll have to make a choice o inokolo kusalawo like this gentleman was given the choice go musa john we are we okusalawo you want to get into heaven o yagala gena mugulu you want to get into life o yagala gena mbulamu You know? Oh my. Just get rid of what you have. Bwana byo ina bicheko. And the guy said no. Sachi no nagamba ni the same. Very hard message. Eh ubaka buzibo. Common sense. Ah makiza mazale. And spiritual sense. Na makizi agomo yo. Issues of money. Eh songa zensimbi. Are driving some of us. Zivuga banji kufe. To abandon the faith. Okutu okusula wansi okukiriza. Issues of money are driving us to take certain decisions which you should not even take because the things we want to do are wrong and we know they are wrong they are sinful but you 
justify and say, you see, if I don't do it, how will I live? The thing of how will I live means common sense tells you that if you have to live, you have to look for money. And some people say the end justifies the means. So then he says you can sin. The scripture says, Ephraim is oppressed and broken in judgment because he willingly walked by human precepts. Our God is able. Our God is faithful. Our God knows how to navigate us through life. Even when things do not seem to make sense. He's able to navigate us through life. Some people also try to get spiritual sense from the wrong direction over this period of lockdown and so on. I have heard of people Unfortunately, some are even members of this church. Who are going to people who are called prophets. But they are actually not prophets. And they are being deceived. Looking for sense. Banunya. Be careful what a man of God, a man who says is a man of God, tells you. If a man of God tells you that if you don't marry this man, you'll never marry again, run, run away. God does not speak like that. If someone who says a man of God and tells you that you can marry a second wife because David had more than one wife, run because that is not the word of God. So we must be careful that we get real sense of direction from God and not from false people. Because such people are only telling us human precepts. If a friend comes and says, you know, Deo, you are, you, life is tough. But your daughter is here, she's 17. Get some rich man to marry her. Because when he marries, they will bring money. Don't accept, run. Those are human precepts. They are not godly. So we must choose to live beyond human precepts. I have just put this to, 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 to illustrate the dangers of walking only using common sense. I'm not saying that common sense is bad. Common sense is very good. But we must weigh everything that common sense tells us on the scale of God. And that is the spiritual sense. Must, it must make sense spiritually. Praise the Lord. I want to try to conclude this discussion. If you look at what Mary did, she did it in love. My life and your life must be 
lived in love for God. The Lord tells us, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And you shall love your neighbor as you love yourself. That is what must drive my actions. That is where my spiritual sense comes from. In that loving of God, I must inquire from him. Lord, your will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. But let me tell you, my brethren, it is not enough to say your will be done. We must practically seek to understand his mind over the things that we do. So that when common sense says this is should not be done because it doesn't make sense. We are able to say, no, you must, must obey God rather than men. men. Praise the Lord. Anything which has makes spiritual sense can be opposed. It, it can be opposed. I'm not saying it will always be opposed. But it can be opposed. That's why you saw when Mary came with her expensive thing. Guys rose up and said, no way, no. Actually, the Bible says they reprimanded her. So now you can imagine. I come. I come. I am so moved with love for this God. This man who every now and then would sometimes come and spend evenings with us. And somehow in my spirit, there's an urgency. Maybe you may not see it for long. So Mary says, look, in case I may not see him again, let me show him how much I have appreciated him. And she picks her oil. Very expensive oil. And she goes and cries. And you know, just demonstrates her love and pours things on her on her Lord and then the man says you this kind of behavior we don't want to see it happen again have you understood they reprimanded her so what we do for God can be opposed. Can be resisted. That resistance can happen even just in your mind. Where thoughts come and say, this thing doesn't make sense. Why don't you leave it? And you get one, two, three, four, five reasons why you shouldn't go ahead. And you can even be told that like, these things of faith, which Pastor Laban, whether Pastor, Pastor Charles or Elder Edward, or these, these men of God, this thing they speak about, leave them in church. And then you begin to agree. The word of faith will have been resisted by the devil and removed from you. As Jesus said about the parable of the sour. So, things that make spiritual sense will definitely and can be attacked. But let me tell you, my brethren, the things that God leads you into, which may not make sense, they have the blessing of God on it. 
while men were saying Mary don't come and do this again Mariamu yalinga agamba tutamukula chino Jesus said hold on hold on hold on Yesu yabagamba muleke mumuleke let her alone mumuleke don't trouble her temusumbwa she has done a good work akoso mulimo mulunji can you imagine so kweunya men are saying no 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 abasinja bagamba nedda nedda And Jesus says hold on hold on. Yes wa gamba ni dana ku wa. Akoso muri mu mulu. Whatever we do, bulicha tukola. Where we are driven by a sense obanga tusinikizibwa of obedience to our God. Okugonda elikatonda wa fe. Things that make sense spiritually. E bintu bikola amagezi mu moyo. And may not make sense in the physical. Ndabizo tukola makuru mu byabuli jo. Definitely God will appreciate it. Katuna abisima. So the Lord told her. Mukama yabaka. She told them she's done a good work for me. Ah, koso muri mu mulunji jendi. Poor people, what you are concerned about poor people? Musumbizwa abavu. They are there. Bajja kubawo. Whenever you want to do good to them, you you have them. Buli mwakalo kola ebirunji je bali mujja pakolira. You will not have me all the time. Neze te mujja kubana ange buli jo. Actually to let you know. E Robert Kegeza chino. She has come to anoint me. As a good my body from bili kwange. She's done something of spiritual sense. Ah, koze echi to echikola makulu muoyo. My brethren, muganda wange, we must emphasize. Tweta ago kusesira. Moving in things which have spiritual sense. Okutambulira mbintu ebina makiza ago muoyo. Okole bintu. We may not make sense here. Ebita yiza kola makulu wano. But it's not be, not because we are acting as mad people. Zero akubantu kola nga basajja balalo. But because we are acting as men and women who listen to what God tells us to do. Na yoro kubantu kola nga bachala na abami abawuliza katuna cha tugambo kola. And we are bold enough. Era tulibavumu to do them. Opikola. We live in times. Tulimbiro. The times we are living in now. Ebisera byetulimukati. A very interesting time. Bisera ebinyuma. We are going into election cycle. Tukenda mu nkulungo eyo byokulonda. Those of us who will be involved in politics. Aba banaita ba mbyo bufuzi. We'll have to contend. Baina okukumira. With issues of common sense. Ebi esongeze za mageza amaza. Or spiritual sense. Oba mageza agomoyo. Doing things the godly way. Okola ebintu mungeri yo katonda. Or doing things the worldly way. Oba mungeri ANC. If you follow the worldly way. Bogwere enkola ANC. Hosea chapter 5. Hosea 5. Verse 11 will will be visited upon you. It will say so and so. Jagamba gundi ne gundi is oppressed. A joke and broken. In judgment because he willingly walked by human precepts. Mukusai wa musango kubanga ya kirizo kutambulia mbira gurubi abantu. May not all happen but if it happens you know that I have said so. Jinzo obutabaone ewe chibao tegera njogedde. It is in the word of God. Banga chimu chigambo cha mukama. So we are in a time tuli mu bisera where we are being challenged. Wotubanga tusomoze bwa choose okusala wo between moving by human precept okutambulia mbira giro byabantu or moving by what we value in our walk with God. Obo kutambya mwe tusako muwendo mukutambula ne katonda. The blessing of God Sagwamukama will be upon them. Gujabera kubon who choose to walk in his ways. Abasara otambulira mu makuboge. If that young ruler If that young ruler Babango mkulembezo yo mto had chosen to go back. Yali asaze okuddayo and sold all that he had. Atunde byonna byayina. I don't know what testimony. Simanyi ujuri zichi. We would have seen. Betwali tabye. Because God told him. Kubanga mukama ya mugamba. Jesus told him. Yesu ya mugamba. You'll have treasure in heaven. Oje kuba no bugagga muguru. Come and follow me. Jango ongoberere. I as I, I I I tend to think zindoza that he would have lived a very very fulfilled life. Yali bade abadde mulamu obutukirizi. Everything that the money that he had was going to give him and has been giving him I'm sure he was not going to lose them because Jesus said come and follow me so I want to end this message by saying we have lessons from Mary she moved by the spirit no moyo 
and did things that did not make common sense. It is our turn. Can we also move like Abraham whom the Lord spoke to and said, leave your family. Go to a land I will, I will show you. It did not make sense. But he moved. Can we be like Daniel, Daniel and his friends who clearly knew what they needed to do had a clear sense of godliness and they said eating food offered to idols is not godly. We will not eat it. We shall walk in obedience to our God. And the results we all know. May the Lord help us to live beyond God bless you. Amen.